The Global Atmosphere Watch is a worldwide system established by the World Meteorological Organization, a United Nations agency, to monitor trends in the Earth's atmosphere. It arose out of concerns for the state of the atmosphere in the 1960s. Mission The Global Atmosphere Watch's mission is quite straightforward, consisting of three concise points to make reliable, comprehensive observations of the chemical composition and selected physical characteristics of the atmosphere on global and regional scales, to provide the scientific community with the means to predict future atmospheric states, to organize assessments in support of formulating environmental policy. Topic. Goals The GORE program is guided by eight strategic goals To improve the measurements program for better geographical and temporal coverage and for near real-time monitoring capability To complete the quality assurance, quality control system To improve availability of data and promote their use To improve communication and cooperation between all GORE components and with the scientific community To identify and clarify changing roles of GORE components to maintain present and solicit new support and collaborations for the GORE program To intensify capacity building in developing countries To enhance the capabilities of national meteorological and hydrological services in providing urban environmental air quality services Moreover, the program seeks not only to understand changes in the Earth's atmosphere, but also to forecast them, and perhaps control the human activities that cause them Topic. Genesis The original reason for testing the atmosphere for trace chemicals was mere scientific interest, but of course, many scientists eventually wondered what effects these trace chemicals could have on the atmosphere, and on life. The GAW's genesis began as far back as the 1950s when the World Meteorological Organization began a program of monitoring the atmosphere for trace chemicals, and also researching air pollution from a meteorological point of view. They were also responsible for monitoring ozone, establishing the Global Ozone Observing System in 1957, in the International Geophysical Year. In 1968, the United Nations called for an international conference to address world environmental problems caused by rapid industrialization. At about this time, the World Meteorological Organization set up another environmental research body, the Background Air Pollution Monitoring Network. The conference was held in Stockholm in 1972, and addressed several environmental concerns, namely The threat posed to the atmosphere by chlorofluorocarbons CFCs, Acidification of lakes and forests in North America and Europe due to acid rain Global warming caused by buildup of greenhouse gases, indeed, it was the World Meteorological Organization's readings and observations that figured prominently at this conference. They had little good news to offer. The GORE itself was eventually created in 1989 by combining the GO3OS and the Background Air Pollution Monitoring Network. The GORE consists of a worldwide system of observing stations and supporting facilities providing data for atmospheric assessments, and also serving as an early warning system for chemical or physical changes in the Earth's atmosphere which could be cause for environmental concern. Such changes might involve a change in ozone, and therefore ultraviolet, levels, levels of greenhouse gases, or precipitation chemistry, the culprit in the world's acid rain woes. Organization The GORE consists of a coordinated system of various components, prominent among which are Measurement stations Calibration and data quality centers Data centers External scientific groups Topic. Measurement stations More than 65 countries currently host and operate the GAW's global or regional measurement stations. There are also «contributing stations» that furnish additional data. Lately, satellite programs have also become important to the GORE, providing atmospheric data that complement ground measurements. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Calibration and data quality centers. 
These have the job of ensuring that all data produced by the system measure up to international standards. This is achieved by assuring a rigorous adherence to standards established by scientific advisory groups and a strict enforcement of world calibration standards. A number of programs such as education, workshops, calibration station visits and so on are provided within the GORE program to enhance the performance of the human component of the GORE. This has become particularly important in recent years as quite a number of stations are now operating in developing countries where further education is often a luxury enjoyed only by a small elite. Topic. Data centers The Global Atmosphere Watch currently has six world data centers, each administered by its host nation, and each responsible for gathering and storing atmospheric data from measurement stations worldwide, and making it freely available to scientists in a number of different forms. The six data centers are the World Ozone and UV Radiation Data Center hosted by Environment Canada. The World Data Center for Greenhouse Gases WDCGG, hosted by the Japan Meteorological Agency. The World Data Center for Aerosols WDCA, hosted by the Norwegian Institute for Air Research NILU. The World Radiation Data Center WRDC, hosted by the Main Geophysical Observatory, St. Petersburg The World Data Center for Precipitation Chemistry WDCPC, hosted by the Illinois State Water Survey the World Data Center for Remote Sensing of the Atmosphere WDCRSAT, hosted by the German Aerospace Center DLR. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> External scientific groups. Scientific advisory groups SAGs have the job of managing and implementing the GORE program. This includes establishing data quality objectives and standard operating procedures, and also providing guidelines and recommendations for achieving these things. Measurement methods and procedures also fall within the SAG's domain. They are also charged with promoting twinning and training in developing countries. <laughs>